Plus, we're continuing our coverage of the FBI's investigation into the Riverside County District Attorney's Office, why the Bureau is expanding its investigation into the city of Desert Hot Springs. Now, from the Desert's News Leader, KESQ News Channel 3, live at 5. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Bobian. And I'm John White. The FBI tonight is widening an investigation into the District Attorney's Office to now include the city of Desert Hot Springs. A News Channel 3 special investigation inside the DA's office first broke the story that the FBI was looking into the DA's office two weeks ago. The FBI's scrutiny revolves around a DA investigator and also a Desert Hot Springs police officer who's both say that they were wrongfully terminated. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca is live tonight with more on his exclusive investigation. Nathan. There is one person linking former DHS officer David Gallardo and former DA investigator Luis Bolaños. That person is David McGowan, an investigator who killed himself and his family two years ago. These two men say they have major clues into what triggered McGowan to snap. It's my life mission. Former Desert Hot Springs Sergeant David Gallardo sifts through piles of paperwork. This is his case to get his job back. He was fired after allegedly filing a false police report in a minor officer-involved crash. Now the FBI is investigating whether Gallardo was illegally fired as part of a conspiracy. Right now, um, I can't go into detail um, for obvious reasons. I, I don't want to jeopardize the integrity of the investigation, but I can say that there is an ongoing investigation being conducted by the uh, FBI. Um, uh, the FBI is uh, investigating the... the um, the Indio uh, District Attorney's Office, as well as the City of Desert Hot Springs Police Department. Four officers were fired in 2004 after DA investigator David McGowan filed his report. McGowan's partner, Luis Bolaño, says a DA chief who left his position as our investigation began unethically intervened in the DHS investigation. He confided in me that he was being pressured by Chief Clay Hodson of the DA's office and Assistant Chief Rick Nelson to change his findings in an investigation he was conducting involving numerous police officers from the Desert Hot Springs station. McGowan killed himself and his family in his mountain home days before he was to testify in Gallardus' case. The district attorney's office said that McGowan had no suicide note and no problems at work. Gallardo goes on record saying his own case and investigation turned up something else. I did learn um, from a uh, uh, reliable source that, uh, that there was a suicide note left uh, at Dave McGowan's house. Uh, my understanding is that this suicide note is a three-page handwritten note that was left on a kitchen counter next to two firearms. This is a picture of David McGowan in happier times at work. Friends say he abruptly cleared his workplace more than a week before the murder-suicide. That could be a clear sign there were major problems at work, contradicting what the DA's office said. We're trying to get pictures that the Sheriff's Department took of David McGowan's workplace right after the murder-suicide. The Sheriff's Department says that they don't have the pictures. Contact the DA's office. The DA's office says that they don't have the pictures. Contact the clerk's office. So we're right here. We're going to go check it out. The clerk's office says that we need to get approval from the executive board of the district attorney's office. That's located across the street. We're going to go check that out. This is where the runaround really begins. Now we're being sent back to the Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's Executive Officer Tom Freeman responded to our Public Records Act request acknowledging the pictures exist. The captain of the Central Homicide Unit that handled the McGowan murder case says since the investigation was closed in 2005, there should be no problem releasing the pictures of McGowan's workplace. A request is now under review from higher levels at the Sheriff's Department. Those pictures show McGowan cleared his cubicle, as sources tell us. Then it provides a major clue the DA's office never released as to why the massacre happened. The DA's office says they aren't commenting on this case. Desert Hot Springs says they won't confirm that they are a target of an FBI investigation. Coming up at 11, we'll have more on how this case could put Desert Hot Springs' financial future on the line. Nathan Baca, KSQ News Channel 3, back to you.